Lazy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Minecraft worlds on Pocket Edition. If you are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like if this does help you out. Subscribe, turn on notifications for new videos. It really does help me out as well. But anyway, let's get straight into it. As you can see, I'm on the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. And as you can see, I do have a world ready to, like a test world for this video. To do this, you do need a computer because you can't actually like back up worlds on your device unless you are jailbreaking. But anyway, let's get straight into it. I'm going to log on to my computer and demonstrate how you can actually back up your worlds. So yeah, as I was saying, this is the test world, but to do this, you do need to close Minecraft running in the background. So just close that off when you're actually doing this and then go straight into your computer. So on your computer, you do need an application. I personally, I use iExplorer. So as you can see down there, that's the symbol of it right there. So launch you up into something similar looking like this, or if you do have anything else, I think iFunbox is another Windows app or Mac as well application you can use to actually do this as well. But there may be some others I don't know about. But anyway, to get into it, you do need to use this or something like this, as I was saying. But anyone locate over here where it says applications or apps over here and then we'll load up all your apps and like what, what you can pretty much get the documents out of so there as you can see there you got minecraft so just double click into that and it'll load up your minecraft files so you want to go into games then you want to go to dot mojang and then you want to go down to where you see minecraft worlds once you double click that, as you can see, this is my world right here, my test world where I demonstrated just before. And it's pretty simple. What you got to do is you can right copy it, right um, right click it, sorry, and you can like export it to a like a, a PC if you want to save it. But simply, I just drag it and drop it, so you can oh, hold on, grab it, drag it, and drop it onto your PC right there. And voila, it creates a copy right here. So as you can see there. Don't that up, but as you can see, there's my copy right here. Double click into it, and you got all your world stuff in here. So, yeah, that is pretty much how you can paint a backup of your world. It's pretty simple. If you got a PC, you can do it really quick and really easy. So, I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to delete it off my Minecraft and then reinstall it so you can show that so I can show you that it actually works. <laughs> So as you saw, I just deleted the world, and when you go back into it, so you just got to relocate where the Minecraft worlds are. So where is it? Apps. Then you go Minecraft. Then you want to go to Games. Dot Mojang or Com. Dot Mojang. Then you want to go to Minecraft worlds. And as you see, I've got no worlds on my Minecraft at the moment. So we're going to be using this backup. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it back into it. Boom, it's going to start loading. There we go, copying files. And there we go. So my world is back into my world. So if I launch up Minecraft right now, I think I'm going to close this off too, actually. Uh, so yeah, I'll launch up Minecraft and demonstrate the world is back into my device and it's back so you can use it. So it's a backup of it on my computer. So there you go, right there. Test world straight away has come up. And if I load into it, you can see that it's the exact same world. I haven't created a new world or anything like that. It's the, it's the exact same world as it was before. It's a backup. And there you go, as you can see, I'm loading into it, and it's the same world, same everything. So yeah, so that's the backup world right there. So that is how you create backups of your Minecraft worlds on a PC. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like if this helped you out. Comment and subscribe, it really it helps me out as well. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and peace!